It's War Dragon time. RPW here with the next part of the Beginner's Guide to War Dragons. Today's video, we're going to go over the events and their prizes. Now, right now we have the breeding event going on, and that's what we're going to utilize, but by no means is this a breeding event guide. I'm going to use this to show you the basics of the event and how you can achieve prizes within them. So let's get started people you're going to find that the event begins on Wednesday evening and you'll know this because it'll pop up on the left hand side there it says ongoing event if you click on that you're going to go into your event section let's first go into the armory the armory is where you're going to gain chests there are bronze chests silver chests and gold chests the bronze chests are your smaller prizes where gold chests are usually larger prizes and your silver chests are generally your runes. Now these can be obtained through the events and through attacking other players. Let's go ahead and claim one now. Okay, we just claimed a bronze chest and we got some XP potions. This could be put on a dragon to help build its XP. And then let's open up a silver chest. As you see, I just got a rune. And then of course in your gold chest you're going to get larger prizes but you're not going to find runes or glyphs or rune dust here where in the silver chests you another will. thing you can do is open 10 at a time like this and this really helps out if you have saved back hundreds for a specific event all right guys so that's how you open your chests let's go ahead and go over to the seasons tab real quick and look at the current seasons prizes now this does end in a few weeks and they're going to come out with all new dragons, riders, and such. Alright, the first tile I would really like to discuss is the boost tile. Within this tile, you're going to be able to gain a bunch of extra little goodies. But the particular one I want to talk about is your winter mission bonus. This is going to give you double the amount of egg tokens whenever you do your missions, just like if you had an elite account. And yes, it does double even with the elite. But I wouldn't so much go for this, especially so late in the event, because it, it doubles it for the entire season. This is one of those tiles that you're really going to want to gain all the prizes out of it within the first month of a season. Otherwise, I don't know that it's really worth your time and your sigils, of course. But it is definitely something worth going for because you get some amazing prizes, as you see. Um, it's something I skipped out on my first season, and I wish I hadn't. All right, so... Another thing we want to look at is riders. Do not confuse this with a dragon. This is a rider. You're going to be able to put this on your dragons and it's going to help boost their power. And then we'll go ahead and go down here to a dragon. Now, Kirin is the newest one that they just came out with this week with a sale. And if you'll notice, it's actually pretty cheap. So for me, not only did I go for that with this little account that can get a lot of points, but another great feature about this specific dragon line is the ability to be able to hatch it even at a small level like myself. Unlike all the other dragons, when you click to obtain Kirin, he starts as a red egg, a legendary red egg. So even if you're a level 10 or you're a level 15, you're going to be able to claim this and actually hatch it. And he's going to be stronger than most of the others. And of course, you can gain your evolution stones for whenever you grow in your um, levels. So this is a very great dragon for somebody that is small level to start with. Now, Gladicus, for example, you don't get him until you get to the end of the second line. But he starts with an orange egg, which if you're a level 15, you're not going to be able to hatch. So you're looking at another maybe 10, 20 levels before you'd be able to do that depending of course on your incubator. So if you'll notice, I'm still in the purple phase. So for me, Kirin is the best dragon for this account. All right, so let's go over the next thing. Let's talk about how to choose a dragon. There are many different dragons within this season that you can go through. And really, it's ultimately gonna come down to your personal preference. And a lot of people like to go over what their spells might be. For example, if we click on the bottom of the tile, it's going to show us their attack boosts. I'm sorry, their maximum attack power and all of their spells. Like with this one has War Cry, Mystic Winds, Ice Turret Resist, and so forth. Where Gladicus has a Shielded Assault, Rejuvenate, Seismic Screech, and the Dark Flak Tower Resist. 
Now these are things that you can get a better peek if you look up other YouTube videos or get on their website. Now the way to obtain these is through points achievements. Um, you can also get these through team achievements, but points achievements is something we want to go over particularly. If you notice, I've claimed all of these sigils. <clears throat> And in this particular event, 15 points gets me my first 25. That would literally mean that I have to sit and click the breed button 15 times on a dragon. And each breed button click is 20 egg tokens. So if you look here, it says every 20 egg tokens spent equals one point. And every 1500 rubies equals 30 points, which I feel like is a waste. And every one mystic fragment is worth 20 points which is why whenever you breed your dragons it is very smart to of course hold off on any mystic fragments until an event so save those between your events i don't have anything to breed so we're just going to click on merc here so as you see right here breed once that is going to give me 20 points every time i click that and then if i do it with rubies which I, like i said before is not really worth it to me would give me 30 points now each prize achievement is also going to give you rubies egg tokens and timers and things of that nature including gold and silver chests now when you claim these rubies i particularly like to suggest to my players that you hoard those and collect those up don't just spend those on anything we'll go over that a little bit more later and then of course you have your team achievements now, once everybody gets so many points within the team at a specific amount, like 10 members at 200, uh, 20 members at 750, you get to claim these prizes along with the rest of your teammates. So it's very important that you help your team get points because these are pretty fantastic prizes as well. Now, if you go back and you click on team contributions, you're going to be able to actually look through your team and see who got how many points. So if you see somebody in there who maybe didn't get enough points or isn't playing at all, you can always send them a friendly email and see if they're needing any guidance. You know, maybe they don't understand how the event goes. Now seasons aren't scheduled, but <clears throat> there is a really cool tool on um, wardragons.info where you can go back and you can look at the past seasons and kind of predict what might be coming next due to the pattern that PG has set. Now this isn't 100%. So whenever you do find a schedule for the season, that is what someone has done. They've gone through and they've kind of got an idea of what may be coming next. So let's go over and quickly talk about these different events. For example, right now is the breeding event. And two weeks from now is going to be what they call the fortification event, which is where you spend lumber for points. And then, of course, between that, you generally have your PVPs, which is player versus player events. Um, of those, there's the tug of war, which is also known as capture the flag. But there's also king of the hill, um, conquer the world, team gauntlet, um, the last event, which was the fight pits. And then we also have a few others that we could talk about later, including the feeding event. In fact, if you want to know more about the feeding event, which is coming up in the next few weeks, be sure to check out my feeding event video so that you can best prepare to get your dragons ready for the feeding event so that you can get big points, which equals big prizes, because I do believe it's going to be in the very beginning of the next season start. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If I missed anything that you want answers on, feel free to comment below and I will do that for you. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that we can get you notifications on the videos as they come out. And if you know anyone on your team that is needing some help with some training or, you know, a guide to help them through the beginning, then be sure to send them over this way because there are a lot of fun videos coming. Well, anyway, happy hunting, guys. Bye.